So the first thing that we had to do was to prove that AI is able to be trained to control traffic. So we did that in simulation first. We used our traffic data to calibrate various micro simulations and started to train an algorithm in this environment. So reinforcement learning is an experiential, experience-based um, learning system. So it learns by trial and error. So simulation is obviously key. We don't want to let out an algorithm that doesn't really know anything about traffic control into the real world. But we trained our algorithm across hundreds of thousands of hours of simulation, and it started to exhibit good behavior, so much so that we were confident that we could start to deploy into the real world. Um, so I'm really excited to kind of announce our big high-level figure at the moment, which is that we have managed to um, observe a reduction in journey times across kind of our key target junction of 23% um, for motorized vehicles. So this is our congestion metric. And the way that we calculated this was we have upstream sensors that are uh, gathering ANPR data. So we are using the journey times across all the, all the different uh, routes through this junction. And what you see in this graph is in orange, so the median journey times throughout the day while the incumbent scoot system is in control, and in blue are median journey times while the Vasity system is in control. And we did A-B testing across the period of an entire month to gather this data. So it's really kind of important to see here as well is that it's not just doing well across one period of the day. It's not doing well across peaks or off peaks or evening peaks. It's doing well across the entire range. So what it's doing is actually very, um, it's adaptive it's adapting to these changes in demand by itself independently. Raquel, welcome to the JCT Traffic Signal Symposium. Why is it important for Vivacity to be here? So it's important for us to be here for you know, a couple of reasons. Obviously, we've been ingrained in the industry for a few years now. We want to showcase our capabilities, on, not only on the sensor side, to showcase kind of how far we've come on the traffic signal side. So we're using our signal, our sensors now um, to optimize traffic signals. Um, and so we want to basically not only showcase what we're doing, but also learn from the industry and get our name out there and sort of show them what we can do. I guess that's the thing. You can show them what you can do because the, the difference in the way signals would be timed 10, 20 years ago and the power of the sort of solutions you've got I mean that we've got so many more poss possibilities to reduce emissions, make things more efficient at a fraction of the cost it used to be. Yeah, that's exactly right. So we have an ability here to implement a system that is really adaptable, that you don't have to kind of program in advance and can continue to learn from the real world. And then on top of that, with the like advances in different types of sensors and the way that you can detect not only cars, but pedestrians and cyclists, you can time traffic signals to prioritize for any mode of transportation, depending on the time of the day, depending on the specific regions, policies, politics, strategies. Um, and so that's really what we're trying to do and kind of move the needle in the transport sector in order to kind of create much more sustainable traffic uh, networks from. And I guess an event like this is important to actually get the feedback, not of what you can offer, but also to listen to the customers as to what they need and want. Yeah, that's exactly right. And there's a, a lot of people here that do not hold back on giving us feedback and challenging us. And we're here to listen to those challenges to ensure that not only we're creating a system that is valuable to everybody or to as many people as possible, but also to kind of preempt any of these challenges going forward in terms of the performance numbers that we're putting out there in terms of the complexity of the system that we're designing. And how grateful is the industry, not just Vivacity, but all the exhibitors here at the efforts that JCT have put in to actually putting this event on this year? Oh, incredibly grateful. I mean, last year was, I mean, they made such a big effort last year, which was wonderful, but nothing replaces the, you know, the energy that you get from being surrounded by people, uh, putting names to faces after almost two years of video conferencing with somebody and building those relationships are going to like drive the industry forward over the next couple of years.